Greetings, today I've got a toy to play with, or rather to take apart and reverse engineer it. That's the plan at least. Are you ready? It's a high voltage terminator from Poundland. It is called an insect terminator. 1.5 kilovolts and 1.5 watt. And it's worth to take apart just for the driver circuit alone. This particular one came with a fly pre-installed. Is a dead fly. I'm not sure whether that's for quality control or maybe where they assembled them there was a lot of flies. And uh, here we are presented with the device. So uh, the way this works you put some batteries in which we will in a moment and there is three electrodes. Two outer ones are neutral and the center one is high voltage. Just wave this around and if you manage to get a fly in between the center one of the outer electrodes it will get zapped. Let's see if we can zap the pre-installed fly. It might be too dry actually to allow the discharge. Let's see. Batteries, two double A's. This whole thing is horrible build quality wise. It's the plastic doesn't even fit properly onto anything but okay. When I press it a light comes on and that's about it. Lubricate the fly. I could stuff my finger inside but that wouldn't be pleasant so Oh, we might have a dud. Oh, actually, I know what's happening. There is a... Yeah, the electrodes are touching. So... Yeah, it gives off a tiny spark. Pre-installed fly is not serving a good purpose. Oh, I think it's smoking. Okay, let's take this apart. Remove the batteries. We've got two screws over here. This does claim to have 1.5 watts, so that would suggest one milliamp of current on the output. I think there is one more screw on this side. There we go. Three self-tapping horrible screws made out of something resembling metal. And here is the circuit board. And as you can see, there isn't much on it. So, so it will be interesting to work out the circuit, what it actually is. I can dispose of all the plastic because I've got no interest in it. Positive goes to the switch and yeah, let's start drawing this. So we've got positive, that goes to a switch. The switching device over here has got marking 8050SS, which brings a data sheet for Jiangsu Changjiang Electronics Company. TO92 plastic encapsulate transistor. Collector current 1.5 amps and 40 volts collector base voltage. So 1.5 amps NPN transistor. Doesn't look like 1.5 amps. The pinout of this is emitter base collector. Those two pins on the transformer are the high voltage output. And what I think in here, there is two coils and this forms an oscillator circuit. I went through my doodles and I drew it somewhat clearer so we can work out what's happening. So we've got two batteries in here, a push button switch, then we've got the dial with a 560 ohm resistor in series that just lights up when you press the button. Then we've got the transformer and the transformer is connected to a transistor. The base goes directly to the positive and that's unusual but I guess they are relying on the internal resistance of the batteries not to kill this transistor. Then the collector goes through another 560 ohm resistor into the transformer. We don't know what the windings are just yet. And the only thing I can determine that those two here are the high voltage output. The high voltage output has got an interesting circuit. The way it's laid out it looks like a bridge rectifier where two diodes have been replaced with capacitors. And what was throwing me off big time, those two capacitors are completely different. It seems that they've just jammed whatever capacitors they've had on hand. And then we've got um, another diode, two 3.6 meg resistors and another capacitor. And this is the high voltage DC negative output and this is the positive. So I'm really I should have drawn it the other way around. This transistor here with the transformer 
it will be self oscillating circuit I will work out the coils in a moment what's happening in there at least we'll try and on the output we've got um, AC high voltage probably about 500 volts or so because this claims to be 1500 volts and this circuit here is a voltage tripler whatever AC in you have on this point you will have three times on the output okay let's try to work this out how this voltage tripling work because it's confusing as hell at least for me I think I kind of know what what it's doing it took me a moment to figure out what's the easy way to explain this and understand the circuit and but I think I've got it you tell me if that's a simple explanation let's look at this circuit from the point where when you look at the sine wave let's look at this part so let's say this point in the circuit is positive and this is negative so the current in here can take actually one of three paths or actually all it's got three paths so it will take three paths so let's if this is positive and this is negative number one when you look at the circuit it can go from here through a diode through the cap charge up the cap to 500 volts and back into negative so let's draw that so we've got a diode a cap and back into negative the second path is this way through the cap through the diode and back into negative so we've got a cap a diode and back to negative and the fourth path is from here through this diode through this diode through this cap and then through this diode in back to, and back to negative so we've got two diodes a cap and another diode so effectively during during the positive part of the cycle this circuit will charge up all three caps to the input voltage which here I'm suspecting it's about 500 volts so that will be 500 here 500 here and 500 here we've got all the caps in parallel what happens during this part of the cycle positive here and negative here but this time let's start going from this part so the current cannot go this way because there is a diode so there's only one path through here so the current will go through a cap then it cannot go here because the diode will be reverse biased so it will forward bias this diode then we've got another cap this one here so when it comes here the only thing it can do is go through this cap and back into positive so one more capacitor sorry back into negative and back into here but in this cycle all those caps got charged so in this cycle they all get discharged but if this one's got 500 volts this one's got 500 volts and this one's got 500 volts this will be 1.5 kV simple that's the voltage tripler you tell me if that's a simple explanation it's one way of looking at it so it's a clever simple circuit what I'm interested in now is to figure out what is this how is this oscillator working so let's pull that transformer out and have a look here I've desoldered the transformer and what we see is you can see there's green wire to just copper wires and on the other side all three are green all the green wires are low voltage and those two this is the high voltage output let's try to measure the resistance across all those pin and see if we can work out actually how many windings is there and which ones are connected if they are zero out the probes the first two 0.6 of an ohm then the middle one to this one is not connected and this one and this one is 0 0.5 0 0.6 of an ohm so those are two separate windings so what we have over here is actually a jewel teeth with just one additional winding on the well kind of but um, yeah I've drawn over the windings how they are this is the high voltage that's one and that's the 
basically that's the two primary windings and I'm still not happy about this transistor the way it's orientated in here I think this should be the collector but according to that data sheet I trusted it and it this kinda doesn't make sense to me so let's pull that transistor and test it here it is in the component tester and this should be a meter base collector let's see a meter collector base and that makes sense and now we have a jewel teeth so this section here forms just a basic jewel teeth self oscillating circuit that will keep oscillating positive comes through here and through the first coil and resistor switches on the transistor it starts conducting up until it saturates it starts conducting through this coil then it induces the negative voltage in here closes base the coil shuts down and it induces a spike and yeah it's it will just oscillate it's a classic jewel teeth but on the same core of the transformer there is also a secondary winding and this winding is basically tapping off the oscillations in here it's sucking out the magnetic flux converting it into high voltage because there's probably a lot a lot of windings on here and then it goes through a voltage tripler and there we go that's how it makes high voltage and there you go that's how it works a wire fell off this is the circuit reverse engineered completely i think now relatively simple it was just confusing at first it seems like they just added all sorts of weird capacitors whatever they had on hand i guess that's how you build circuits to a price since this has been reverse engineered i think the next step will be to build our own one but that's not in this video for this one i think that's going to be it so thank you very much for watching and i hope you found it interesting please give me a like on this video if you enjoyed it uh, reverse working out engineering this little simple circuit and for the time being take care